Welcome back, Chavi Down Under. Doug, it's Monday afternoon, running late. That's pretty usual, as you all know. Today we're going to gentleman's knot, Musashi. I'm just going to, because I'm in a hurry, just lather up straight in here, do a Sinatra linen straight from the bowl, and we'll face lather. Hope you all had a good weekend. I know some of my uh, subscribers didn't. Their teams didn't do too well, but uh, we do have one happy chappy Arsenal supporter. And of course, one happy chappy me. This stuff's excellent. It's a bit thick. We want a bit more water in it. But it's not a real hot day, so I'll probably get away with it. Derby Premium Blade as per the last shave. And away we go. Well, the, the mighty seagulls flew high and obliterated that opened up packet of hot chips, which we'll call West Ham in fine style. And uh, commiserations to any of my subscribers here who are West Ham supporters. I think there is a West Ham supporter. My apologies as my name just escapes you. Carl, the Spurs. All right, what happened there, mate? One nil. Arsenal scoring the winner when there was just no time left on the clock. And then what the hell happened to Manchester United? They must be still celebrating after the Carabao Cup win. Seven nil. I fit up my man new supporter mate, who's just recently relocated to the Philippines. He's um gonna spend a few years there till he can officially retire and then come back to Oz. But needless to say, he'd be devastated. I watched the Brighton game live. It started at 1.30am Sunday morning in South Australia. And then I watched the, the last half again last night while I was having my dinner. The missus is down in B Town. She's coming back uh, this evening. Uh, 
Ah oh, man, West Ham have got some problems. Near the end of the game, for the second half, and this is probably about 80, 85th minute, around that uh, period, and the second half stats was Brighton had 13 shots on goal to West Ham's duck egg. And, uh, and then we had a few more after that, and they didn't, so it was a pretty ugly game. So my life keeps ticking away here. I spoke with the real estate agent last late last week. And hopefully, not this coming weekend, but the following weekend, we can start moving some stuff down to the new house. And then... On the last weekend of March, hopefully we can do the complete move and and um, that'll be my new home. So the bathroom in the new house is actually bigger than this bathroom, <laughs> but uh, I, don't, I don't know how well it's going to be set out for doing shave videos, but uh, I'll get around that. Just where the sink is set up. And I'll probably put in a, a new shaving cabinet. I put in a, you, you guys haven't seen it, but I've got a, a shaving cabinet here we put in about, I don't know, a year, 18 months ago, which I installed myself. I was a bit, uh, a bit pumped up that I did what I thought was a pretty good job. Since I'm not, um, I wouldn't say I'm a handyman, but I'm not completely uh, useless. And that's the other thing I haven't told you. For some time now, I've just been selling small packs of mixed razor blades on eBay. And the other week, I got a message from them saying that uh, we got to pull your, your listing down because sending... I can't send razor blades to England and some other place. And I'm thinking, what's that got to do with the price of... You know, I'm thinking, how silly is that? These are shaving implements, uh, and you know I'm sure they've just put in an algorithm with buzzwords, and then those get their red flags, and they just do a now nah, you can't sell it. So how silly is that? So it's not like it's a big issue for me because I, I didn't sell any uh, packs of razor blades overseas, uh, mainly just to um, Australia, within Australia, I should say.
and I was only making a little bit of coin from it and they were just pretty rare sales to be uh, honest with you. So you know, it's it's no big, it's no, um, skin off my nose. So when I um, get settled in down at Kingston, I'll try and relist them again with only just to sell uh, in Australia only. See what happens. Tell you what, there's been some nice raises sell in the past week. I know yesterday morning an Eclipse razor in a cardboard shipper. I wanted to have a crack. <laughs> My whole body just wanted to go for it. It's oh, I'm not sure what it sold for. It, it was a, maybe 350 GBP, which is, you know, it was over 600 Aussie dollars. But uh, I had to be sensible. I just couldn't justify it at all. With all the expenses we got coming up with this move. Tell you what, there is something very interesting for sale on um, eBay in the United States. It's a razor blade that's encased like in a, um, oh, this, like a uh, coloured, it might be Bakelite. So it's just the bottom of the blade of one edge just um, shows. The rest is encased and it goes into another coloured Bakelite sheath with a long uh, ribbon-like string and apparently it was used back in the 30s it's an art deco type uh, piece for cutting up coke <laughs> I'm half tempted <laughs> not that I've ever done coke or about to uh, can't afford the fines but uh, or the drug um, but what an interesting little tidbit. Very, well, I think it is anyway. Well, that was a welcome shave because I don't think I, I hadn't shaved since last Wednesday and it's now a Monday, so. Oh, beautiful shave, beautiful. BBS, magnificent. All right, well. One thing to do, I have to finish off with the splash. Yes, yeah, so I've got a race to work. Whoops. Tell the boss that uh, my la I don't think I'll be able to work my last two shifts in the last week of March. If things go how we hope they will. Ooh, the bird. Let you know you're alive. God, this stuff smells good. Gentlemen's not. I'll try and remember to put the link in the description. I don't know if they got any more of this for sale, but you might be able to pick up the soap and the splash separately. Really worth it. It's a really nice scent. Oriental type scent. So yeah, I got let one of the owners know that um, I might not be able to work that final week, which I don't think is going to be a real big deal because I suspect that uh, once I go, they're not replacing me. So, so um, 
yeah, it shouldn't be much of a drama. When I got the job, you know, they made the position for me, not because they wanted me in. It was one of the workers, uh, Nat, got really sick and they thought he'd had a heart attack and uh, ended up he had a kidney, uh, one of his kidneys stuffed up, had some can Johnny Dancer in it, had to rip it out. And unfortunately, he's got cancer in the lungs now, but, but he's still fine. He's got um, a few years left in him. But he was off for a while. One of the owners took a knife to the arm trying to stop someone stealing a bottle of booze. So he was off. And uh, then the other fellow I worked with, Jace, he did a shoulder. He was off for months. So I come along and they brought me in at the right time. And um, But now things have settled down. Uh, I really doubt they'll replace me. Really doubt it. So it shouldn't be an issue. I think the other guys will be able to... I'm pretty much getting two, three shifts a week maximum. 12 hours at the most. Easy to absorb. Easy to absorb. All right, I've got to run. Thanks for sticking around. If you have, uh, please hit the like button and um, hit the comments up. Let me know about your team, whether they won or lost. And uh, let us know if you're a West Ham fan. Let me know what's going on. And man, you fan, what the hell? Yeah, you won't be able to live that down for a while. Okay, I've got to run. Take care, everyone. And um, I'll try and do another shave video during the week. Until then, ciao for now.